Hello and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel for a very long overdue video. I'm currently out here at the moment getting in my allotted daily exercise allowance, adhering strictly to government guidelines. And I just thought, you know, as I was out here, it was about time I did a video. I haven't done anything this year. In fact, I haven't done anything since November, maybe? I don't know. There's no real excuses for this other than that, uh, I don't know, I just didn't really have much to say. I've spoken about this sort of thing before. But I figured, New Year, better get something out. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking a bit about my New Year's resolutions and where I've been, but I'm also gonna be talking a bit about 2021, what's gone on in 2020, and sort of my intentions for the year with the channel. So if you're interested in that part, then just look in the uh, description, you'll see. You know, I'll divvy everything up into to what I'm kind of doing, so you don't have to, you know, spare you the drivel. Usually at the beginning of the year, I do a video where I talk about my latest uh, anniversary being, you know, my sobriety anniversary. And I didn't bother doing that this year. There's a couple of reasons why. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, by the way, because I have had some messages. Uh, yes, I have stuck to it and I have now gone past my five year anniversary. One of the reasons I didn't do a video is because I just didn't really feel compelled to do so. One of the one of the main messages that I have gotten a lot on the three year and the four year sober videos were why do you count the time? Why don't you just be sober? And I have to confess that I do kind of, I do see the point in that. I do really actually see where they're coming from, whether it's well intentioned or not. If you're gonna be sober, but you're just gonna spend the rest of your life talking about it, then kind of, you know, what's the point? Just get on with it. And that's kind of where I feel uh, I am. So I didn't, I didn't wanna dedicate an entire video to doing it. Also, and I think this is actually even more indicative of it, I genuinely didn't even um, remember the date. I knew it was at the beginning of January sort of thing, but it wasn't until I started getting some messages from people, how's things going? Have you stuck to it? Are you still with it? It kind of, you know, struck me. It's like, oh yeah, it's today. Well, it was actually a couple of weeks ago now, but uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's why I didn't do a video. But yeah, I've stuck with it. I'm still, still in the sabrai. So where have I been? Well, I guess I've been, uh, that kind of brings me into what I want to speak about in this video, because I guess I'll get into some New Year's resolutions, and none of my New Year's resolutions this year are, are anything extreme at all. I guess a lot of them focus around on doing more of the things that I enjoy. You know, I do a lot of things in life that I don't want to do. You know what I mean? I think all of us do, and it's amazing how we make time for those, but we don't make time for the things that actually please us. Um, I think like a lot of you, I kind of feel, I wouldn't say directionless at the moment because I do have some sort of goals, but um, I figure the best way to find out where I want to go next in life is to start concentrating again on some of the things I actually enjoy and that uh, give me energy. You know what it's like, a lot of things in life, they, they drain you and you spend all this time and you kind of maybe feel depressed or that something's wrong with you and actually a lot of time it's probably just that you're spending a huge amount of time dedicated to the things that just deplete you you know what I mean not just physically but mentally and spiritually so yeah I want to spend some more time this year actually focusing on the things that I enjoy doing and actually putting aside time to do them when I was doing the videos last year I found that a huge amount of my life was just trying to come up with content and a lot of it was just me talking for the sake of talking trying to get a video out and it kind of it took over my life really it took over my week you know my entire weekend would be dedicated to getting a video out there and and uh, I wasn't doing much else in life and it's kind of what's the point in doing a channel about self-improvement when I myself am not actually really feel like I'm improving the self or enjoying my life. I took a couple of months out and it was kind of nice. It took me, it was, it was amazing how it still took me a good two, three weeks though to kind of 
get into not doing a video, if that makes any sense. I think a lot of us, you know, we try to make plans in life, but we forget that it takes a little while to transition into uh, into that new sort of lifestyle. But I kind of got into the vibe of, okay, well, if I wasn't doing a video this weekend, so I actually had my time for myself, what would I do? And slowly over the last couple of months, I've started um, getting back into some stuff that I, I used to do and that I, I really enjoy. And that's where my New Year's resolution's coming in. So let's go through some of those. The first one I'm looking at is, and this is the only, I guess, extreme one, if, that's, if that makes any kind of sense at all, is ditching unnecessary guilt. I think a lot of us kind of find maybe we fall into some sort of martyrdom at times where we feel guilty for not doing something that maybe we shouldn't have to do in the first place. Uh, for me, maybe the videos come into that, but also, f you know, friends, family, work. There are a lot of times you can find yourself just committing to stuff that you don't want to do. And sometimes you say no to those things. And it's all very well doing that, but it's kind of pointless if you then spend a tremendous amount of time afterwards feeling guilty for doing it. So I want to drop that sort of shit, that martyrdom bullshit. I don't think it's good. I don't think it serves anybody. Maybe a lot of you can relate to certain things in your life about that as well. But as for the rest of the resolutions, it's just simple things like uh, reading more, writing every day, uh, all of which are things that I enjoy. They're not, um, you know, they're not, uh, it's not extreme stuff at all. Now, of course, there's certain other things that I'll be continuing, like my sobriety, working out and all stuff like that. But having been so many years into that now, that's kind of ingrained into me. You know, it's kind of, uh, it's, it's just kind of a part of who I am now. It's not something I really have to think about. It's just kind of something I automatically do, which I kind of enjoy because I'm at that place in my life now where I do that. It kind of allows me more time to, uh, like I said, bring in some, some things I actually enjoy. So I have been writing every day and I've been reading every day and I've really enjoyed that. I've tried meditation a lot and it just doesn't appeal to me. It's not, that, it's not that I can't do it. I think there's something about it I don't kind of like or don't want to get into, weirdly, on a subconscious level. So I've been reading a lot and I found this kind of, it does a similar thing. It kind of, it kind of, it zones me in on something and helps me concentrate more and yeah, you know, builds my vocabulary. Not that you'd see it from this video, Jesus. Yeah, I've really enjoyed reading. I've been doing a lot more of that over the last couple of months. And uh, I've been writing a lot more. I've been doing a lot of poetry and stuff like that, which is stuff that I enjoy. It's not, I don't care whether anyone else likes it or not. It's something that I enjoy doing. And something I've also found I started doing again is drawing. I used to draw a lot when I was young. I was pretty good at it as well. But I kind of just stopped doing it for some reason. And I noticed with, when I was doing the poetry, sometimes there'd be quite a lot of space still on the page and I kind of just, uh, you know, just fill in little corners and stuff and, you know, just start doodling. And again, it was just something I enjoyed. I don't know if this stuff will, I mean, you know, I don't intend for any of this stuff to get me anywhere, but I'm just kind of curious this year in spending time doing the things that make me feel good and bring me energy and see what comes of it. Maybe there's a bit more faith this year. Just leap of faith, I guess. Just seeing where it goes without really any direction and just following my impulses a little more. <coughs> I've started uh, writing music a bit more as well. I guess the poetry kind of serves as lyrics to a certain extent. And it's kind of just, I, I don't know, I, I feel a lot more free at the moment and, and you know I really I really do it's kind of nice I like the idea of doing stuff without the idea of anyone seeing it and just kind of doing it for the sake of doing it and it's really brought me a lot of enjoyment so those are my resolutions for this year that's what I'm doing so let me know what yours are um, and if that makes any sense at all I think it does I really do so that's the whole new year's resolution stuff like I said nothing extreme 
just things that I enjoy and bring me energy. That's what I want this year. Which brings me nicely, I suppose, into uh, the current world situation. 2020 was a bad one for a lot of people. Uh, 2021 has not gotten off to a good start. In fairness, and I don't mean to be a dick, but anyone who seriously thought that everything was just gonna magically get better at the stroke of midnight on New Year's was, you know, sadly mistaken. I mean, come on, really. It's, uh, I think we're gonna be, we're in this for the long haul, but uh, I don't think that has to necessarily mean that we all have to get down about it. I think, uh, uh, I guess that's kind of what inspired a lot of my resolutions really was last year really did open my eyes into how things can just change at any moment and how uh, you know life as you know it can just change that crazy so yeah the idea of spending more time focusing on the things that you enjoy as opposed to the things that you don't I think is a is a great way forward. There's a great uh, podcast from last year. I might have spoken about this on the channel already, but Rich Roll, uh, the Rich Roll, uh, the Rich Roll podcast, if I can say it, he's a vegan triathlete. He's but he's not uh, like a preachy guy at all. Really, really well informed guy. And he had a uh, Navy SEAL on his channel last year called Chad Wright. And I remember him saying, you know, you stand more chance of addressing the bad things in life, not by condemning the things you hate, but by promoting the things that you love. And I thought that was a really good sentiment. I really, really like that. So maybe that's kind of where I'm going this year, just focusing on those good things. So imagine if you, you know, time is limited. So why are you, you know, why are you focusing so much on the bad shit? I know it's very easy to say, but it's also kind of true. It's uh, easier than ever right now, I suppose, to focus on some of the shit things in life, but uh, that makes it even more important to not do that and things. So what are my plans for the channel for this year? In all honesty, I don't know. I'm not going to be doing as regular content as I did last year because it, uh, I found a lot of times there was just times I was literally putting out videos for the sake of doing them. And I don't want to do that. I do want to spend more time focusing on things I enjoy. What I'm hoping is going to happen is that through doing that, that will inspire videos. You know what I mean? By going to where my actual energy is in the first place, then I think that will actually do more to inspire content in the first place. But uh, I aim to put out at least one video a month. So I still want to keep things going. I still want to keep things ticking over. I don't want to be a slave to the YouTube algorithm. You know what I mean? Because so many creators, any of you who put YouTube videos out yourself, you know what it's like as soon as you stop putting out videos. Things can just stop up. Yeah, you know, YouTube stops promoting your content. Now that I mention that actually though, I did find that views were getting less and less the more videos I was putting out anyway. So I think there's something to be said for that as well. You know, I'd rather, put out something every now and then and get a bunch of people watching it rather than just having a few people watch you know you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying so no real definite goals in terms of uh, content this year although I have uh, although one video I did think about doing was uh, a video about why people fail the couch to 5k I've noticed there's a lot of videos out on that um, and I'm not necessarily sure I agree with a lot of them. I think there's a lot of bullshit and overthinking with a lot of it. So maybe I'll do my own spin on that and uh, put something out there. That'd be quite good, I think. But yeah, that's about the only one I've really got a plan for at the moment. So maybe I'll work on that one next. Who knows? But I will be back at some stage. I hope you're all doing well in these troubling times. I hope you're all sticking with it. So I'm going to continue now on my stroll, adhering to strict government guidelines, and I, I will leave you with that. Voice broke a bit there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I'll see where uh, I'll see where this year takes me. And um, any questions asked, you know, if you've got any questions out there, maybe ask. That's something I could maybe do again in some of the Q and A stuff. I kind of didn't mind doing that so much. At least there was a, a point. 
to the videos. So yeah, if you've got any questions, ask. So that'll do, I think. I'm gonna head off now and enjoy this walk within government guidelines. So I'll catch you later.